Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to another video. Today I have another recipe for you and surprise, surprise, it is more Mexican food. Mexican food is my absolute favorite and I think it's really easy to make macro friendly. So hopefully Mexican food is also your favorite or something that you really enjoy. If not, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite kind of food is. Either way, give the video a like and subscribe to the channel for even more healthy recipes. Today I've got a chipotle bowl for you. So it's a little bit of a copycat recipe, but I think I perfected my cilantro rice, so it's not too cilantro-y, but it is just enough and gives you that chipotle flavor that I think is really bringing us all back to chipotle without having to wait in line and without having to guess or bring a scale to chipotle with you, because I know that's not always the most fun. For this recipe, you will need white rice, black beans, fajita veggies, chicken, lettuce, reduced fat cheese, guacamole, and any salsa that you like. I already have the rice started, so we're gonna go ahead and slice the bell peppers and yellow onion. I start with the bell peppers first, so there's not onion all over the cutting board while I'm cutting a little bit less than a cup because there is some cilantro in there, but it's not really worth 
figuring out if you ask me. Next, we're gonna put in the black beans. I've heated my beans up because that's how I like them. The beans at Chipotle are probably warm as well, but you can do whatever you want. I'm using black beans. I do kind of prefer refried beans, but I thought it would look a little bit prettier with the black beans. So black beans it is today. Next, we'll put on some fajita veggies. I'm not gonna measure the veggies out because I just don't really care today. And for most of us, it doesn't really matter. Um, that's not something you really need to concern your time with. There are so many other things you can worry about. Next, we're gonna top it off with our taco seasoned chicken. Now for all the fun stuff. So I have reduced fat Mexican blend cheese. I'm just gonna take a little bit of a handful and put it right on top. I probably should weigh it out, but my scale broke recently and I've been using this cheese quite a bit recently on my eggs, so I have a good idea of what a serving size is, which is basically for half a serving to two thirds of a serving, so all of it is two thirds. I just take like a big pinch of the cheese. So this is what we're working with right now. No Chipotle bowl is complete without some shredded lettuce, so for the occasion, I have some shredded lettuce. Again, not gonna measure it out. I'm not dieting right now, so I'm not gonna worry about carbs and lettuce. If you're dieting, you can choose whether you want to do that or not. I think it would be a better idea for you to just focus on like bigger picture things and then understanding the difference between a carb and a veggie and kind of work from there instead of getting caught up in the carbs that may or may not be in your lettuce. Now we all know that the guac at Chipotle is extra, but at home it doesn't have to be. I am a huge fan of buying these single serve holy guac packets and then just using that to go right on top of whatever I'm eating so I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm not worrying about avocado browning or guac browning or taking more than I really meant to. I just have what I need to have. So I'm gonna use this right here and put it right on top. Okay, now just because I can be extra because we are at home, I'm definitely going to be, and I've got three salsas to put right on top of this bowl, which I think is gonna take this Chipotle bowl to the next level. And if you are dieting, finding little hacks like this, like putting three different kinds of salsas on your food, can really help make your dieting meal feel a lot more like an indulgence. So today, the three salsas I have are this medium salsa, which is very restaurant style, very, very chunky. This like very typical grocery store salsa, chunky but also much more liquidy, which is nice because I think the salsa really helps pull the whole bowl together because it's otherwise just like PC. And then lastly, I have this green salsa, which I'm a new fan of, but um, it's a little bit sweet, a little bit tangy, and so it just adds yet another taste and another level to this whole meal, which is something that I'm really going for. So we'll just put on however much you like. Again, if you're dieting, feel free to measure it out. You can get your macros exact. If you're not and you're just trying to eat healthy, then don't worry about it. Make your meal and move on. All right, so now we have our make at home Chipotle bowl. It is complete cilantro rice and all. In this little bowl, we have cilantro rice, black beans, fajita veggies, taco seasoned chicken, produced fat cheese, shredded lettuce, guac, and three different salsas. I am so excited to eat this. This is gonna be a delicious and very filling lunch for me today. I hope you guys like this recipe. I hope that you can use it at home. Maybe your next day off, your next weekend off, or maybe you're off every weekend, or you have dinner at home every night, whatever. I hope that you can use this recipe. Let me know if you did. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.